questions. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Chairwoman, for uh, holding this hearing today. It's a very important and uh, necessary hearing and good for our members to get this interaction with uh, the regulators, and I appreciate you all being here. Um, and so I want to thank uh, Chairs uh, Hood and McWilliams and uh, Vice Chair uh, Quarles for, for uh, appearing before the committee today. Um, and I want to thank each of you for taking the time uh, not just to testify, but for prioritizing the common sense um, reforms that are necessitated by the bipartisan law at, that we commonly refer to as S-2155. The last time you testified before the hearing in May, um, we called on you to take swift action on implementing this bill. Um, and you've answered the call, largely. Uh, clarifying the Volcker Rule and tailoring requirements for foreign banks are just a few examples of regulatory right-sizing that you've implemented to ensure our economy, small businesses, and consumers uh, remain uh, vibrant and strong. Uh, however, there's more work to be done. There's certainly more work to be done. And what we'd like to see from you is the pace uh, up and continue to up so that we are staying ahead of market conditions and economic conditions. Uh, we need to make sure that the tools are there uh, to help serve consumers and communities. I also want to take this opportunity to raise a number of concerns that I continue to have. I'm concerned with the trend in the Federal Reserve's open market operations in the wholesale funding markets. Uh, I appreciate Chairman Powell's prompt response to my recent questions about the Fed Reserve, Federal Reserve's uh, repo market operations. And I understand there may be further interventions necessary at the end of the year. Uh, the Fed's intervention in the repo market raises the important question of how regulatory changes to our financial system are impacting its structure and function and impacting monetary policy. I think it's very important the Federal Reserve have its independent monetary policy uh, standards I think it's very important for the global economy, the American economy, and American consumers. But the regulatory changes, it's necessary for Congress to have oversight of those regulatory changes. And in this circumstance, if regulation is driving monetary policy, bad regulation is driving monetary policy, I think that raises greater concerns about uh, financial stability in the market um, and also uh, economic growth. So in addition, the combined impact of proposed capital requirements, including Basel III re revisions and the stress capital buffer, could have a significant impact on required capital if not thoughtfully implemented. This may further exacerbate the underlying issues that we're seeing. So it's important to consider the financial, uh, to, it's important to consider the system of capital requirements as a whole to ensure regulations are appropriately calibrated to allow institutions to continue to support economic growth. In addition, uh, in May, I voiced my concerns with the transition from LIBOR to SOFR. Six months later, I'm still concerned consumers will be impacted by this transition. The repo market intervention is just one example of why that is uh, a, a, of concern and should be of concern to average everyday investors. As you know, LIBOR is the underlying bank reference rate for approximately 200 trillion in financial contracts worldwide and is set to be phased out as a bank reference rate at the end of uh, 2021, uh, or by 2021, and replaced with so forth. Given the volatility in the repo markets, I'm concerned about the consequences that that volatility will have on mortgages, auto loans, business loans, and other consumer loans as a new reference rate in, uh, if, it's, it's, if that's a, a, a driving overnight financing. Transferring LIBOR-based uh, legacy contracts to SOFR will also require financial institutions to renegotiate with consumers, uh, customers, and exposed banks to litigation risk. I hear that clearly the tap, 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 and I will, uh, with that, I will uh, reserve the rest of my uh, comments for my questions. But thank you for being here, and I appreciate uh, your attendance.